go to the boat for a week and practice. Practice yeah. being liverboards for a week. It's going to be interesting. The weather looks like it's going to be thunderstormy off and on all week, so we'll see how this goes. It's good practice. Mm -hmm. And this is all our stuff that we're bringing, even though we did a terrible job provisioning because we had no food in the house. And it's a holiday, and we both just got back from trips. So we'll have to provision when we're in Kingston. Yeah, we're going to have to catch some fish. <laughs> but we, we need to buy some fishing gear first. Yep, and a fishing license. <laughs> Today's job is changing the oil. I got the wrong oil, so I'm gonna to go to Canadian Tire and pick up some more. The friendly gents here at the marina uh, pointed me in the right direction, so I'll, um, I'll head there now. Okay, I have the right oil. You're going to empty the old oil out with this bucket and a motor uh, that's hooked up to the battery and then uh, sucking the oil out of the engine. After sucking all the oil out of the engine, I replaced it with a semi-synthetic. I also took the opportunity to change the oil filter. Oil pressure is looking good. So we are about to go on another sail and we're actually going to try and change our setup a little bit. Um, the previous owner had these tracks that uh, I think he preferred, but we're gonna see if we can bring the Genoan a little bit closer to the mast to help our upwind sailing, because last time we were definitely going downwind, even though we were turning upwind. of our jib now that we've moved tracks. I moved this one a little bit further back so it seems good. More billowy than before although if you guys have feedback definitely tell us because this is a lot of trial and error. <laughs> what are we doing honey? Sailing into the wind. Woohoo! <laughs> This is take two of the hatch repair. <laughs> uh, last time we did a quick fix, we put some caulking around the hatch, which I know is not the way to fix it, uh, but it actually worked really well. But since we're at dock, we're gonna try and fix it uh, a little bit more permanently, and we'll see what happens. to release it from the old seal. Oh, this is no joke. So now that I've been sliding this putty knife underneath to break the seal, I noticed the side that it was leaking on was really easy to get the putty knife under. So obviously that's where our leak is manifesting from. Uh, but now that I've done the easy side, the other sides are feeling really hard. <laughs> So we're going to try to use a rubber band and a screwdriver and a wrench. We have it all. We'll see if this works. Hopefully we can get the hatch out now. Let's see. 
after successfully removing the strip screw with the help of some friends and a power drill, I continued with cleaning the old silicon cock off of the hatch. to re-bed our hatch. Um, instead of using caulking, we decided to go with butyl rubber. Um, butyl never hardens, it always is flexible. Um, but the only thing is that you can't, from what I understand, you can't really screw into it, otherwise you risk the chance of springing a leak. So I'm trying to bring butyl on the outside of all the screw holes. butyl rubber, we successfully installed the hatch and took turns tightening the screws in a star pattern so that the hatch would lie flat. When we were finished, we cleaned up to prevent any of the old cocking from ending up in the lake. Thanks for watching! We've got a lot to learn, so if you have any tips or suggestions, please comment below.